What the fuck is up everyone? You know what time it is. It is Sunday afternoon and it's time for Sadistic Sunday. Got a huge show coming up today. Kill Shot Wrestling Mama Lita. Welcome, everyone. Atticus Black. I'm going to get this shared out everywhere here. Hey, Wrestling Mama. Mama, Mama. Hey, Kill Shot. Hey, Atticus. I forgot how to share. <laughs> Oops. Alrighty, nice. just about got this done. Hey Jake, welcome to the show. <clears throat> We're just feverishly uh, <laughs> uh, sharing the link out. Think I got everywhere covered? I hope. I well, I hope so because. <laughs> yeah. If not, tell them all we're here and we're live. Right. <laughs> Jake That's Bagwell, right, welcome to the show, brother. Whether you're a minute or an hour, it doesn't matter. At least you stopped in, said hi, and uh, that's all that's important. Blaze, welcome to the show as well. Hi, Blaze. Great to see everyone here. While we're waiting on people to get in, I have some huge announcements coming up for Sacrifest. Uh-oh. Those ones we can go over now. April 21st. Sacrifest, our end of the season show, will be live. Oh, no way. A lot Somebody of stuff to go has over. A birthday near that. Azrael and Goddess, welcome both of you to the show, hey, as Goddess. well as Paul. My beautiful, beautiful goddess. Press the buttons, Tiny. I, uh, well, there's a lot of story I won't be pushing buttons today. And to go over what we already have confirmed, we know in the Warzone match, it will be Dominion versus Team Mordrin. Who's on Team Mordrin? You're going to wait and find out. Oh, so we're having that again. Team Mordren, eh? They want to try oh. and take my company? Oh! Not even. First it was he wanted to find out what he's doing. Now Matt needs to know what he's not doing for sacrifice, so he's with you on Team Mordren. See that? See how he's working that? <laughs> Bazriel's not doing it. Of course you did. Them fuckers want to try and take my company. They want to come in my booth and beat me up three on one. That's no shit. Now we're going to lock their ass in a cell and see how they like it. I grew up in cells. I've been in and out of cells my whole goddamn life. I'm just going home. But on to other matters of the card. For the women's world title, Amber Young will be defending against Cassie Madam Red. Of course, Cassie winning that battle royal to uh, become the number one contender. Mm -hmm. 
on the men's side, Jester will be defending the world title Ooh. against the man who won the championship scramble as we were coming back. His first ever one-on-one -on -one world title opportunity, Ripper Springheel. That was awesome. I, I, I could not believe that when you told me, setting up the show, that Ripper had never had a singles title in SCW. I'm like, wait, what? Firestar, <laughs> welcome to the show. Clinton as well. Hey, guys. Speaking of first times... Katie Nightwalker will be defending the Intercontinental title against another person with their first opportunity at singles gold one-on-one -on -one in Sunshine Marigold. Sunshine, of course, winning the women's chase. Mm -hmm. You know, for the international title in a match that was challenged and agreed upon by the two competitors to crown the new vacant champion... Two out of three submissions between Drum Monkey and Atticus Black. Oh, hey! Two no. former <laughs> international champions. Yep. For the Ravishing Pair tag titles as of last week, we know the contenders for that will be the Silent Death defending against the Resistance Order. Bit of a rematch from when the Silent Death got the belts. They actually took them off the resistance order then. For the dominating duo titles, we have the Death Ride putting them on the line along with their record setting reign against the Steel City Committee, <laughs> Blaze McCoy and Jinx McCoy. And I have yet to hear from the Death Ride for the stipulation of that match. They won the right to name one, they haven't told me yet. They've got till next Sunday. Uh oh, hear that, Max? I will be making the stipulation. <laughs> and then a match that was challenged and set up in our chat, and I, I've signed off on it to make it official. No holds barred. Andy Price and Paul Utaker. Oh, heck yeah. Let's go. Yes, I'm trying very hard to behave. Gotta stop giggling at me in the in the crowd, because you know you are. Lady Devil, welcome to the show as well. I, I know, right now, there are that. still plenty of spaces. Kelly, welcome to the show as well. Plenty of spots still left on the card for Sacrifest. Easiest way to get in? Two ways. Make some noise and win. Right. Because I will say it now, not everyone will be on Sacrifest. This is our biggest show of the year. Nightmare, welcome to the show as well. Hey. You want to do some kicking, huh, Matt? But that is Sacrifest. Today is Sadistic Sunday, and it's time to get to some fights. Uh, yes, Clinton, silly. It will be all four male members of Dominion. So, yes. Against sure. me and three other people. Missy Harris, welcome to the show. Sure you're not, Goddess. Sure you're not. No, what happened was me and Goddess were on the PlayStation and we were having lots and lots of fun. And that's where Mordrin sleeps. And <gasps> Mordrin had to sleep on the couch last night. <laughs> I brought him to bed after, like, Goddess and I got off the call. Our and opening was... match. Again, this was set up in the chat, so if you want to start working on something... Get active. Our opening contest today, Azrael Black, JW Caliber. Two out of three tables. Who do you got? Place your bets. That one for the win? 
Sarah, welcome to the show as well. Jay going for JW, of course. Clint's going for the table. Well, I'm I mean, for the barricade. <laughs> The tables are the safest bet. We know they're going to be around through the match. We know they'll decide the match. I know. I, 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 okay. <laughs> Someone's catching wood twice. Yeah? Possibly? And here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a two out of three tables match. $3.50. Holy <laughs> shit, Hugo, welcome to the show, brother! Hugh oh, you're gonna tell Great me to, to shut see ya! He told me to shut up! Oh my goodness! Okay, I'll be quiet. On his way to the ring first. Ezreal Black! Great to see everyone making out here. Making it here, seeing the show. People we haven't seen in a long time. Awesome to see everyone here. I hope you do, Hugo, because I love you. Of course, on the big Hugo sketch. Please behave. Jeff Matthews, welcome to the show as well. Hey, goddess, I clarified it. I ain't making out with no one either. My wife ain't here. That's true, shit. So y'all can join the fucking club. <laughs> Azrael Black getting ready for this event. We're starting off with violence, and we're ending with violence today, goddammit! South Outlaw, J.W. Caliber! The challenge was tossed out in, in our chat. It was almost immediately accepted and the stakes were raised. See both men ready here. Bell rings. We are out to the races. Jumping high neither right away by Azriel. Center of the corner now by JW. Big boot right to the jaw. Now 
Quick short arm clothesline. JW stepping through, pulling it back up. Hits the second. And hits the hat trick. Azra went for a kick, but immediately cut off, sent over the top rope to the floor. JW following him out. Short range DDT. Both people tied up, sent right into the stairs now. JW looking to just keep the, the foot on the gas here and speaking of foots on, just putting his foot through the chest. But in the end, all this doesn't matter. You got to put him through the table. Short range elbows in mind, overhand right. Scoops up. Oh, wait a minute. JW saw it on the corner of his eye. Quick elbows. Now JW going for the table himself. Azrael don't want no part of the table. He's going under the ring. He's getting one of his own. JW tastes the wood. I know wrestling, mama. <laughs> so both men apparently have their preferred table. What the fuck's wrong with the other one? I don't fucking know. I mean, maybe the wrong color. I don't know. They're the same fucking color. <laughs> and they're telling me something that never was. Oh, JW fights his way out of it. Twice now, Azrael has been close. But close don't count, and now Azrael tastes the wood. Sends him into the corner, big uppercut, reverse elbow, sends him out, back in again. Tiger, faint kick. Now Azrael trying to open the, up the strikes here, but gets sent back to the wood. And face first again. Now JW staggered. Oh, wait a minute. No, he goes face first. I thought Azrael was going to try to put him through. Now he's got him up. He's taking him the wrong way. Wait, maybe. Oh, he missed the table. Ezra now up top. Jumping DDT from the top to the bottom. Now JW brought up by his head. It looks like JW, I can't tell. He maybe busted open. I'm not sure. No, it was just the, looks like it was just the lighting. Now that I get a better view, but there's a cutter, and Azrael has been busted open. We got blood in this one. Azrael now sent over the top, big right hand again. Or excuse me, JW in. Went for a third, but JW fighting back. Sends Azrael at the far side. Discus forearm right to the jaw. Well, I, I do like the idea there, Goddess. But right now, Firestar is not a member of the active roster in the company. If she would like to join the company, we can definitely work that out. As JW is up one to zero. Pressing the advantage here. Whoop. 
big super kick right in the back of the neck. Oh, we saw him put his foot through the chest earlier. Now he's putting his foot through the back. Dribbling Azrael's head like a fucking ball. That, that's a very good question, Goddess. Azrael now JW braced against the rope, sends him off, no reversal by JW. Azrael though, handspring into a cutter of his own. Azrael now getting the table, looking to tie it up here. But gave JW time to get up, JW pressing the advantage. Now going to work on that arm. You can't lift someone and put them through a table if your arm's screwed up. And JW not playing around. Has him front face lock. Took him the wrong way. Off the side there. Basement drop kick to the side of the head. <laughs> Short range elbows here. Azrael sends him into the table. Has him up. Alabama slam and we are tied. Of course, wrestling mama. Table set. Azrael looking for the clean. Looking to... Go right up to, on two, but no, JW fighting his way out of it. Side slam in the corner. Now, her, no, Azrael fighting his way out. Angelina, you are already booked for Sacrifest. Azrael spins around, no JW with a block and a forearm now. Big step up, knee lift to the side of the face again. Now going to work on the side of the leg. Coming across, big boot again, it's how he opened the match. Looking to close it about the same way. Has him up. All the way up. And that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the Dirty South Outlaw, J.W. Caliber. Our next match. Speaking of Jeff Matthews, he's up next one on one with Matt Outlaw. Who do you got? Place your bets. Family for the win. Jeff, because he is my son-in-law, but, you know, Matt is. I, I love Matt. So, yeah, fan for the win. I know it's the problem. It is tough to call. Here we go, down to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. On his way to the ring first, one half of the last train robbers, Wild Matt Outlaw! Matt 
has been one half of a dominant tag team, multiple time dominating duo champions. We don't see him too much on the singles ranks. The Big Hoss getting his opportunity to step up today. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent Jeff Matthews. It's possible. So at this point, both of these men are on the outside looking in for Sacrifest. Both looking to get the win here. Help state their case a bit more. There, there will be some announcements as to who I'm taking the war with me in the upcoming weeks. You just gotta stay tuned. Yep. Both men getting ready here. Referee calls for the bell. Here we go. Call our bell tie up in the middle of the ring. Oh, Matt Outlaw has him goozled right away. Goes to work on the body and just sent Jeff Matthews a foot in the air. Suplex by Matt here. The big hoss showing his dominance early. Throwing his weight around literally. Jeff Matthews now trying to fight back here, but immediately just thrown by his fucking throat. Big splash to follow it up. Set off the far side ropes here, drop down. Went for the boot, no, Jeff put on the brakes. Jumping leg drop across the back of the neck. Oh, and he slapped him in the mouth. Jeff Matthews defiant, and he's going to pay for it, it looks like. Sit into the corner here. Matt Outlaw back in the ring waiting for Jeff to get in. Ducks the last right hand there. Finally getting the advantage. Belly to back turns it into a face plant. Uh, sends him over the top here. S snaps him throat first on the top rope. Matt Outlaw to the floor. Jeff Matthews coming in. Oh, Matt Outlaw looking for, looking for a little extra. We just had a tables match. Matt's not done with the tables, but a flying forearm from Jeff. And another knee to the side of the head. Now up on the shoulders, but the big elbows 
from Matt here, getting his way out of it. Referee up to four. They have a 20 count on the floor. Matt back in at five. Telling Jeff, bring his ass. Now Jeff going under the ring himself. He's got a kendo stick. Gets caught coming in, though. And Matt... Oh, Jeff got out of it. Quick clothesline in a second. Sling blade to cap it off. Matt's down. Jeff into the cover. One, two... Oh, has him up. L face first again and again right to the cover. One count only. Overhand right now. Oh, locking him in. Submission locked in. He's got the submission. Rear naked choke. Matt trying to hang on. See him flail and finally reverse elbow gets his way out of it. Jeff now set off the ropes. Oh, got taken down by his throat. And a good God. Takes him up again. Another choke slam. Cover. One, two. Takes him up and again just throwing him around. Break across the back now. Sends him off the far side over the top to the floor. there and now face first on the floor and yes uh, we do have some roster members that are in GPW and they will be going live later this afternoon with their big pay-per-view war games Jeff, Lita and a few others are over there um, check them out when you get a chance sending under the bottom rope now Jeff Matthews going for the stairs Lots of wrestling on deck today. I know, as Tiny just mentioned, GPW. Pele kick by Jeff. Blaze is going later, and God, I ask, you still going live tonight? You want somebody in the booth? So wrestling action all day, guys. Be sure to check them all out. Right now, Jeff wearing out that ball bat across Matt Outlaw. Sunday. Kick to the ribs now. Locks him. No counter by Matt Outlaw. Yay! I'll be in the booth. I promise. I promise I'll be out here in the living room. <laughs> Face first on the apron. Kick to the ribs though by Jeff. Jeff still fighting his way out. Both these men still very evenly matched. Absolutely, Clinton. Jeff now back in. Matt rolled away from him. He was going. That is true. There you go. <laughs> oh, big boot by Jeff. Into the cover. No counts. Two. Me for Lord tonight. He'll be in bed and I'll be out here on the couch. Come on, Jeff. Jeff out of nowhere with that boot as Matt Outlaw staggered. Looking to capitalize here. Up and over, into the neck breaker. <laughs> now Jeff with another weapon. Right between the eyes and again. Oh, but he got oh. caught. I think he made Matt mad. Matt Outlaw, he broke the stick over Jeff's head. One, 
two. <laughs> you go. <laughs> Big knee to the side of the face. Has him up and tosses him again. Oh, and it may be the beginning of the end. All the way up and down. Cover. <laughs> One, two, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Wild Matt Outlaw. I agree, Goddess. Hell of a match from both competitors. Alrighty, Jake. Rest up, brother. Hey, Matt. Speaking of, there is the winner, Wild Matt Outlaw. <laughs> We get ready for our next match. You know, those who remember a few weeks back, Sarah shocked the world, beating the women's world champion. Did not have a successful outing against the number one contender for the women's title, but has made her case known that she wants to be in that title scene. So a better, what better opportunity... Then to go one on one against the former multi time world champion, the goddess of pain. Who do you got? Place your bets. I love Sarah, but gotta go with my goddess. My beautiful, beautiful goddess for the win. So we have the explosiveness of Sarah. Versus the experience of goddess. Anybody's ball game. Here we go to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. On her way to the ring first. Sarah Slayer Black. As we mentioned, Sarah on a mission to prove herself in that that top level of competition. now know both these women will see each other again at Sacrifest with a little extra company next time. gentlemen her opponent the goddess of pain the former two-time women's world champion laid out the challenge earlier today for sacrifice But, you know, looking to get herself back in that world title discussion.
Both women ready. Referee calls for the bell. Here we go. Oh, and Gata scooped her up and dropped her right away. Sarah tried for a quick start. Now Goddess coming with the heavy shots. Deadlift from the gut wrench into a suplex. Now brings her back up. Wheelbarrow face buster to follow it up. Now into the cover. One. Now stomp to the arm. Goddess now a much slower, methodical pace. Fits her power, her power game very well. Stomp right to the small of the back. Call her about type again. Now takes Sarah up against the ropes. Sarah though fighting back out now. Coming with a quick rights and lefts and into the cross face. Out of nowhere, cross face locked in. Goddess, though, quickly tosses her off, meets her coming up with a boot. Puts her in the corner now. Goddess going outside. Goddess looking for some toys. Has a kendo stick. Oh, Sarah playing around and got caught. Ducks the second shot, but just enough to let her know. Sins got us outside. Sarah now on the other side. What's she up to? Holy shit! Tornado DDT through the ropes! Now just choking Goddess! Sends her back in the ring. Goddess, though, scoops up Sarah's side backbreaker. And another. And then tosses her like a sack of trash. Now Goddess using that kendo stick. And busts it over her. Yes, Missy shit. Booty Buster! Cover! Two! Yes, Missy, Katie is here. Uh, she she has a match for Sacrifest, but we can look about seeing something booked before Sacrifest. Roll through into a stunner! Knee to the face, falls into the cover, finally hooking the leg. One count only. Now those short range kicks right to the face of Goddess. Now working on the arm, maybe trying to take away use of the booty buster by weakening one of her arms. Has her up, hot shot on the top rope. Quick cover to follow through, one. And again, got us out at one. Has her up now, locked in. Face first goes Goddess, roll through by Sarah. One, two. And again, Goddess kicking out. Goddess has been here before. She has been in these deep waters as a former two-time champion. On the shoulders, driven down. And a knee to the jaw. Got us going for the cover. Two. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the goddess of pain. Well done, goddess. Goddess weathered the storm 
as we've seen her do many a times, the reason she is a former two-time women's world champion. And there you see Goddess holding up Sarah's hand. Both women put on a great match in. Now this is another match that was tossed out in the chat for a challenge. Joker challenging the returning Demented. Who do you got? Place your bets. Well, I'm just going with my brother Demented for the win. Dem for the win. <laughs> and here we go down to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. On his way to the ring first, Joker! <laughs> Hugo calling for the <laughs> ring to win and wants some blood. <laughs> Joker definitely does not have a fan in Sarah. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, oh. the Captain Demented. Let's go, Dem. Demented making his return last week as a surprise opponent to Matt Storm. was almost immediately called out by Joker. Thank y'all very much. That is the goal. We want to sell them out, pack them in every single night we're on the air. As you mentioned, the fans will look at the audience here today. Referee calls for the bell. Here we go. Call out about tie up right away. Joker. Quick roll through, kick to the chest. Ducks under. Schoolboy roll up, but then a quick enziguri. Joker trying to keep the pressure on early now. Big power bomb to spike Demented. Now sends him off the far side here. Reverse elbow catches him right under the jaw. 
Then a standing moonsault into a cover. One. One count only. Joker quick to press the advantage. Oh, and we got blood. Demented busted open from that right hand. <laughs> now another shot and all oh, demented caught him. Hot oh, wow. shot and Joker over the ropes. And here comes Demented, scoops him up. Hot shot across the top rope again, looking to take the air away from Joker. Now Demented going for some hardware. Sends the stairs in. Now scoops him up. Now a little turnabout being fair play. Hot shot to Demented. Quick cover. One count only again. Now Joker. No. Demented reverses. Back body drop. Yes. It'll be you, uh, Kelly, Sarah, Goddess, and Rustling Mama. In a hell in a cell. No escape. Snaps down again. Oh, but Demented was playing in the crowd. Joker took out the knee. Now Joker, big double axe handle between the shoulder blades. Pulls him in, spikes him down. Cover. One, two, that's it. I'm going to have to talk to my brother. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Joker Statement win for Joker out on his own tonight. I I don't know what, uh, what happened there. I don't. Joker got the advantage early, and aside from a couple of spurts, never let up. Our next contest, we go back to the women's division, as we have Crushing Kelly versus Angelina Matthews. Who do you got? Place your bets. I don't think I have to say anything, but I will anyway. My daughter for the win. Later. I guess, Sarah, I, I really, I, I, I'm going to have to have a talk with him. That, that's, that's for sure. Firestar playing it safe, fam for the win. Here we go down the ringside. <laughs> Leave it to Hugo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. On her way to the ring first. Crushing Kelly Black. <laughs> Kelly making her way out here now. We do know now she will be involved in Sacrifest, accepting the challenge from Goddess.
and ladies and gentlemen, her opponent, Angelina Matthews. Of course, we do know Lita will be teaming up with Steffi, the Resistance Order, at Sacrifest for the Ravishing Pair titles against the Silent Death. Both women getting ready here. Referee calls for the bell. Here we go. Middle of the ring, collar of tie-up. Quick kick to the ribs by Kelly. Oh, and now choking Lita on the top rope. Went for the kick, but Lita ducks underneath. Now going to work on the body. Went for the knee, but stepped out of the way. Kelly with that quick take down into a cross face. Kick to the ribs. Now over the top on the apron. Lita pressing the advantage. As Kelly laid open, just laying in the forearms. Yep, the, the last adoption and the only adoption was Joshua. Now Kelly though looking to get back, caught Lita going under the ring for a weapon. Now sends Lita back in, now Kelly going for a weapon in instead here. Hey guys, the tables match started the show! All you motherfuckers want to bring tables in! After that knee into the cover, one count only. Now working on the head and neck there. Cover! Draw to follow up again. Now Lita turning the tables, putting on. Oh, and drives her face first. Lita into the cover after that. Two, three, that's it. Lita with that jumping flatliner out of nowhere. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Angelina Matthews. Well done, Lita. <laughs> yeah, you know all my kids got it. <laughs> I was a little bit confused there for a bit, too. Uh, definitely Hugo out of nowhere with that jumping flatliner.